Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever you are. Day 81 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Today, um, if you're watching this linearly, if that's such a word, um, it's Monday. And Monday's the start of a brand new week. Monday's the day where we're going to set ourselves some very basic baby steps for us to be able to complete by the end of the week, for us to be in a more positive, in a more... Um, accomplished, balanced, um, um, with more clarity and purpose um, by the end of the week. And we're going to do that by starting this week with a mindfulness meditation that's looking at how we can cultivate motivation, how we can cultivate um, a plan, a goal, an ambition, but without it becoming counterproductive when things don't go our way. So, we all start with good intentions. And those good intentions are, I'm gonna do this this week. And you plan it and you start to write it out and you start it. And then something gets in the way. And then you say, oh, Jesus, you know, I haven't managed to do that this, why haven't I done that? I've been, dis why did I have to go over there? I'm, I'm sick to death, got, you know, and all of a sudden you get yourself into this cycle of, of what started off as being a, positive motion actually has now ended up in being something that's quite unproductive and ultimately counterproductive and we all do it because we beat ourselves up we we beat ourselves up when we don't achieve sometimes um unbelievably high standards of ourselves um and we put ourselves under huge amounts of pressure so i this that's not about this but this week would be really good if we could just think about some of the baby steps we want to make you know, and I've said it a million times that, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day, but some of it was, you know, somebody placed blocks down in Rome on one day whilst it was being built. And sometimes in those days, people got things wrong and they got it right and they celebrated and they fought and they, so all of these things are just human nature. But what I want us to be able to do is to be able to set ourselves achievable goals that slightly get us on our tiptoes but we don't beat ourselves up if we don't fully accomplish them or or if something goes wrong or if we get dragged about, okay? So, this week, what do I want to achieve? Well, this week, um, I'm changing my website. So, and that's being done as we speak. So, I'll have some new designs tomorrow for that. I am going to record today and tomorrow um, a new Udemy course on the Akashic Records. Um, and I've done all, I spent all weekend writing it and designing it and building it. I'm going to record it over the next two days. I'm obviously going to do another seven days of mindfulness challenges. I'm going to answer all of my emails. I'm going to um, do my readings that I have. I'm going to try to launch um, some uh, of my one to one sessions. And there's lots of things I'm going to do, and they're all baby steps. And I've structured them all in a way this week where I can have downtime. So eight o'clock this morning, or seven o'clock this morning, I recorded my how-to video for this week, uh, which is how to activate your chakras. I then did my mindfulness meditation at eight o'clock, and now I'm doing this. And then I'll move on to um, my Udemy admin and my emails. Then I'm going to have a break. Then I'm going to get into um, my Facebook admin for an hour. Then I'm going to um, do a blog for the Light and Harmony community site. Then between 1.30 and I have a lunch then. And at 1.30 to 2.30, I do three readings. And then at 2.30 to 3.30, I'm doing some social social posts with some Instagram. And then 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock, I'm going to sit in the energy with spirit. Sounds pretty well planned, doesn't it? And... It's something for me to continue to check back on to see where I am and what I should be doing because I will get dragged about and things will sometimes be quicker or they'll be longer. But what I'm not going to do when it gets to five o'clock this evening, I'm not going to beat myself up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to celebrate the things that I've done and not kill myself on some of the things that I've slipped on. Okay? So... Let's have that mindset. Celebrate what you got done. Don't dumb down and 
hanker on to the things you didn't have done. Let's do a meditation. Pick up the screen, let's get a picture up. As always, I want you just now to close your eyes and just take three very deep breaths. Breathing in, holding it, and breathing out. Breathing in, holding it, and breathing out. And finally, breathing in, holding it, and breathing out. Just have a stretch, have a nice yawn and a big stretch now with your eyes closed. And just check in to where that sensation of where you've had a stretch felt the nicest. Just check in and breathe in that section. And then to get our parasynthetic nervous system awake, I want you to ground yourself, which is just as simple as just focusing your breath on your feet. On your, Focus your breath and bring your attention to your right foot. And just breathe through that right foot. But when doing so, what, what, what awareness comes to mind? Is there any sensations or feelings in your right foot? Check in with it. And then move to your left foot and just check in with your left foot. How does that feel? Just breathe your awareness. Now, in your mind's eye, now we're just nice and calm and relaxed and we've opened up all of our senses, our body, our mind and our soul now. I want you just to picture in your mind, bring to your awareness that you are stood in front of a big whiteboard and you have a beautiful pen in your hand. And I want you to write one thing that you would like to achieve this week. One thing. And just write it on the board. Now, when you just look at the board, just stare at what you did, what you've written. Just sit with it. But sit with it and look at that board with ambition and loving kindness. And look at it with an open heart. Knowing that this is what you're going to try to achieve this week. And no matter how far down the road of trying to achieve this, you know that you'll be further forward than where you are today. And that one step or two steps or three steps or total achievement, whichever way around that is, will be a reason for you to have success and a reason for you to celebrate yourself for achieving these beautiful baby steps. Now underneath where you wrote what you'd like to achieve, I want you to write two things that would be the outcome of what you want to achieve. What two things would be the positive outcome of what you want to achieve? And write them down on your board now. And as you're doing that, there's a beautiful energy of loving kindness and support around you. You may have an uprising of emotions when you're writing this down. But it's beautiful. You're writing this from your soul, from your heart. Two positive outcomes of what you would like to achieve this week. And now I just want you to look at the board and just breathe in and sit and be with these two positive outcomes. And feel the emotion that arises when you read the first one. And feel it. And feel where those sensations rise from. Of the joy, of the happiness, of the personal satisfaction, of the loving kindness. And then look at the second outcome, positive outcome. 
and just be with that and see where those sensations arise and how they make you feel from moment to moment, breath to breath. And finally, on the board, I would like you to write, I love myself, I love all aspects of myself, I have patience for myself. I will appreciate myself. I just want you to look at that board now, which is pretty full, and realize that this is your pathway for this week. For you to hold yourself with loving kindness, to hold yourself with beauty, to hold yourself with patience, love and compassion, to hold yourself with the empathy that you would give to your most cherished person or animal in this world. You deserve and you are worth every moment, every second, every breath of your beautiful existence. As you move forward, along your pathway of spirituality and your human experience. Knowing that even when we feel we're going backwards, those experiences will take us forward. Take a deep breath in, wiggle your fingers and come back into the room. Monday motivation, mindfulness, mayhem. Mm, can't think of any other words beginning with M. But it is beautiful. And I'm sat here now and I'm looking out my window and my patio doors, French doors, whatever you want to call them. And I'm looking and I can hear the birds. I can see the sea. I can see England. And I'm so lucky. And I'm so lucky because I have the gift of that. But also I have the gift of you. And you have the gift of me. And I have the gift of everybody around me. But importantly, I have the gift of myself. To respect, to love, to hold with kindness. To realise that I have to hold myself with more love as you all do, and we find that difficult because some of us think we're not worthy or we're not this or we're not that or we're not this. You're worth every breath. You're worth every moment. And on day 81, if you followed me for 81 days, you deserve a huge pat on the back and a huge virtual hug and a massive virtual kiss. Thank you for being with me on day 81. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Enjoy your Monday. God bless, be love and give love. And see you tomorrow. Goodbye.